Oh. Obviously, Gareth, you're a big fan of, uh, of, of Transformers. Yeah, you know, uh, Transformers was the... Um, I would say Transformers was the kind of franchise I was really into before um, I, I got, kind of got back into Sonic. Mm. So you took a break from Sonic for Transformers? I, I didn't take a break from Sonic. Like, I so Transformers is the other woman. Kind of. <laughs> like, I, wasn't, I wasn't like massive into, um, tra- into Sonic when I was in, in, my, um, in my Transformers phase. In your formative days? In my, in my youth. In my youth, I called it the world. I was Transformers. <laughs> I like how these these little Decepticon guys are like, are kind of like Bumblebee. They're like Deceptibees or something. Deceptibees. Which well, because like you know, again, as we said, a lot of the designs, the G1 centric. Back in the G1 days, it was, it was mostly Autobots were like a ground vehicles, and Decepticons yeah. were planes. I mean, there, there was some. There was like you know the aer- the aerial bots were one, and who were the um? What's the that's the name of the group? The the, um, the Stunticons. The Stunticons, yeah. Who are in this game? Who are in this game? Um, Spoiler alert! It was it was like a big thing that the Decepticons had like cars, and it was a big thing that the Autobots got jets, because uh, it's like oh, but the Decepticons are mostly jets, even though they had jet fire. But he was kind of a lot like he he was friends with Starscream in the past so it was kind of like I'm going to you know. I'm going to be honest I think that's why I I when I was a kid I liked the Decepticons more the planes was because <clears throat> no because they were other vehicles other than just just mm. plain cars mm. like I didn't want that when I was like yeah uh, I don't know it just it wasn't appealing to me I was like I was like I want the helicopter <laughs> <laughs> I want the tank <laughs> what's weird with, with the old boys you get like Trucks and cars, then like a microscope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Don't you mess with, don't you mess with Perceptor. I forgot to, I forgot to mention um, when I when I brought up how you're a fan of the uh, of the series, Gareth. One of my favorite stories that you've ever told is the uh, um, the story about when when you, you, your parents decided you guys were gonna get a doll. <laughs> okay, yeah, tell it, tell it. Okay, so um, years ago we were um, my parents were thinking of getting a doll because I'd wanted one for. Years and we, we never got one because there's no one at home to look after it. So we're, I remember we were in vacation in I want to say Spain, and so we're sitting down for a meal. And my parents, are, okay, we're, we're gonna get a dog. What should we name it? And everyone's throwing out names like you know like Rex and like regular <laughs> names. And I go, how about we call it Starscream? And my parents are kind of like, what's uh what's what's Starscream? I just went, um, it's a it's it's a transformer. And my dad just gave me this look like, why are you my son? <laughs> The next cat we get is going to be named Grimlock. Grimlock. Yes! Tell, TJ, tell, no... tell your Grimlock story. All right, so uh, when I when I was younger and I was playing uh, Star Fox 64, I never understood what that voice was saying when you uh, like when you select or when, yeah when you select the planet you're going to, and then you have that little meeting with uh, with General Pepper, and uh, then like it cuts to the name of the planet. And it says it says something, and it to when I was younger, it sounded like it was saying "good luck." <laughs> and then, so like when I finally discovered that it was saying "good luck," I I told Gareth the story, and then I just came up with, "Who's your favorite Transformer?" Grimlock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I love these like fighting the two Constructicons together. Bosses. The fuck is a distraction con? <laughs> Interpret dance. What kind of secret power is that? Distract the cons. Distract the Autobots. It kind of annoys me that there's not a whole shit ton of variety when it comes to uh, the combos. Because whenever you're playing, I don't know if that is, is that just the strongest combo. It's or it, it, pretty much in terms of combos, you have a light attack and a heavy attack. And you, you, you can do some mix and matching, but pretty much it's just do one or the other. Uh, attack, 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 and did you, then Did you transform. play with the machine? Oh, yeah, I got played with the machine. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hurry! Stand by the machine and shit will happen, okay. <laughs> so, again, but to get back to the, the, the plot of this movie, is the Decepticons find something called the Nova Prime, which was a ship 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Nova Prime's a guy. Okay, but it's the um, it's the it's uh not it, the ships the Pharaoh taxes right or no the Pharaoh taxes. No, the Proud Star. So the no, they, they find oh, yeah. a ship called the Proud Star, which houses something called the Pharaoh Taxis, which kind of has a, a history of like all of their art, their culture on Cybertron. But it's kind of Megatron's kind of using it to terraform Earth, and then yeah, Optimus, we don't even know that yet in the Optimus, context of the Optimus game. Optimus is like, don't don't do that. That's that's not good. Optimus. <laughs> There are, there are references to uh, spark plug in this game, but there's no references to Spike. Like, oh, go well, get what, sparks there's and a, plugs. There's, and, a, there's an Easter egg. One of these shops is called Spark Plug. Well, it's called Sparks and Plugs, and then there's a billboard that says Spark Plugs Auto Shop or something. There's only one more like Easter eggy um, bill, billboard type thing. In this, and it's like Macadam's old, uh, old oil house or whatever, which is a, a place in the comic book where everyone gets drunk. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what Jay Gravy Hotel or whatever is. It's, it's weird how there's not a lot of, of like Easter eggs in the background and stuff. Yeah, like you think they just shoes. I remember, <laughs> I remember when Bumblebee and Spike went out for their first pair of shoes at Just Shoes. <laughs> it was a it was a very important. Episode you know, know as, that's far, they as far as I'm concerned, from the amount of, of uh, like storylines and shit that you've told me from the comic, I'm not sure if you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> there is one uh, one issue of the of the UK comic where Starscream learns about Christmas. <laughs> yes. Have you Holy read that? Shit, he man. learns about Christmas and he helps he helps a human being just to spite an Autobot. <laughs> it's the most perfect story you'll ever read. From any franchise known to Oh man. yeah. Ian Flynn top that. <laughs> oh he fucking will. <laughs> He's listening to this right now. Metal like, Sonic's first Christmas. <laughs> that's your ass. No, Metal Sonic's first ho- first uh, first Sonic <laughs> I, I, would, I would so read that. There's not like a middle soap light on like one of those candle things. Menorahs? Menorahs Jeez, yes. you don't even know what a menorah is. I'm not Jewish, why would I know that? Be- because you're well, a man neither, of the world. Yeah, neither. Yeah, you're a man of the world. <laughs> oh, we, 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 we were on holiday in Spain. <laughs> Spain having a meal. <laughs> it's so <laughs> easy as shit. I've never been out of the United States. How do you think that makes me feel? Take me with you to Spain oh, on one of your trips. this? Crimsy! Crimsy! I love that he says the... Says oh, the, that explained it. Says his name. So Kremzy is a, a little lightning creature. <laughs> Stand still, you bastard. He, um, you. he showed up in one episode of the original cartoon. He's kind of been, like, t- Easter egged in other things. Like, he was in animated a lot as an Easter egg. Like whenever you'd wa- they watch TV and then the sig- signal would go out, it there'd be like a creme Zeke that says, "Oh, you know, the signal's out. Sorry, guys." <laughs> um, he uh, he's he's just this little kind of energy being that like sucks up energy and grows bigger, and they had to face it. Like it was one of those weird episodes where the Decepticons aren't really the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's an episode that a lot of people don't remember fondly. Yeah, you know, a lot of people talk about Crimson in, in a good light, for good reason. It's kind of a crappy episode. It, it is a pretty bad episode, but it's like it's so bad that I have a fondness for it's it. So if bad, that's it's good. Yeah, I, I'm that way about the girl who loved Power Glide. A lot of people can't stand it. I love the girl. He who is Power Glide. he is really kind of abusive to that woman. He's kind of a jerk in that episode. It's like I swear that I want to go flying. I'll send you flying. <laughs> He grabs her arm with such force it should have gone out of her socket. It's but he really loves her. He's, he's, he's hot melts when she leaves at the end. <laughs> well, he lifts he lifts up his uh, chest plate and this little like uh, LED Light heart. Show and see if yeah, about my like, cartoon heart. And those like, flashing. Aww. I guess I guess whenever you insulted her, you actually loved her. <laughs> Scavenger. Also, I love this this little um, the drill. That is. Um, in the original G1 toy, um, you so Devastator's forearms are a separate piece from him, and you would take out the fist and replace it with a drill bit, and he could have drill hands, and then those drill forearms you could put on top of um, of uh, 
of, of certain Constructicons and use them as weapons, and it, it's just a really cool nod that I wish they would have incorporated into the new uh, Devastator toy that just came out. Excuse me, Mr. Jonathan. Yeah? Um, if he has uh, drill hands, how can he eat pizza? <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he, like, fists the pizza, and then it gets protruded on, and then he spins it. Oh, yeah, he's pizza fisted. <laughs> <laughs> he spins it, and he takes a bite, and it's like, uh, it's like, uh, he's eating it till he gets to the tit, to the, to the drill. <laughs> to the tits? To the tits. <laughs> he says, <laughs> Constructicons. Oh, so like, so like, the pizza, the, he, he stabs it in the middle, and then just eats the crust first. You can't eat pizza like that! Fuck the Decepticon! <laughs> <laughs> I've converted you to an Autobot! Just by telling you how Constructicons eat pizza. Say, Clone yes. eats pizza, stupid. Fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, I'm, no. I would, I would, in my fan canon, <laughs> I would make sure that Cyclonus ate his pizza the correct way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the only thing you change about Transformers law. Cyclonus eat pizza normal. Yeah. He learned from an Autobot. Yeah, exactly. And then he would, he would try and convert the Decepticons, and then there would be a schism where, like, Megatron was like, Cyclonus is right! We should start eating pizza the other way! And Starscream's like, Fuck you, Megatron! Crust fast highways! <laughs> Starscream actually, that's the only time Starscream actually garnishes support. <laughs> I'm with Starscream! Fuck <laughs> Well, I thought schism was some bullshit you just spouted, but it's an actual word. So it, it's also a an so <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix Wright. Chris, don't you know anything about the X Men? No. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, you forgot about that, didn't you? I did. <laughs> are you with uh, Cyclops or are you with Wolverine? Wolverine? That's still like that's still relevant. We're isn't gonna it? have two different X books. Oh, okay. they already did though. It was more that they had two different X teams, and one was, you know, fighting against the law, but one was on the side of the law. I don't know. Who's it, well, who's against the law? Well, Cyclops just killed Professor X and caused all this damage, um, so no, they were. Well, I don't care anymore. <laughs> fuck that! I don't fuck it. So that's why I don't read the X Men books because it, it's stupid shit like that happens. Super, super shit like that. You hear this? Sound that super, super shit. shit. You hear this shit? Sound that funny shit up here? I had loved her actually here. Why did you write that episode when Starscream leads an uprising in this <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck Man. you, Megatron! Crossed all the way! <laughs> but it's like, like the team is just, it's just Cyclonus and Megatron. And like, everyone else is like, oh, actually, I prefer Even some of like, yeah. um, that sounds dumb. <laughs> Soundwave would never do that. He would always go with Megatron, even if he thought it was dumb. Ravage eject Operation Correct Pizza Eating. <laughs> eject. So I, I, I missed it. What are the names of these uh, Distracticons? Wong Hall and um, who, who else are you fighting? The, uh, oh, Mixmaster. Mixmaster? Holy shit. He's where a was, cement truck. Where was his rap career? <laughs> Why would he straight out come to <laughs> I like how he poops out Ashley. Stay with Cybertron! <laughs> Crazy motherfucking name Megatron! <laughs> <laughs> fuck the Autobots! Fuck, fuck! Fuck, fuck the, the Autobots. Autobots! Fuck, fuck! I wish that was a thing. <laughs> we should make it a thing. I would buy that LP. <laughs> Different kind of LP. <laughs> For all the kids that weren't born in the 80s who don't know what an LP is and just think it's a let's play. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. I'll tell you they probably it. don't even understand what that is. They, 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 they remade that movie and put it in the Was movie. that in the new one? I think so. I didn't even care to see that. Me neither, but I haven't told us in that long. <laughs> That's the only one that matters. So every Autobot, um, basically, so the basic controls, as we said, you got your jump, your light attack. Good time to be talking about it. I know. Light attack. Wait, first level, as long as you get it all in here. You can transform. You can dodge. One of my issues with the controls is dodge and transform are the same weapon. Same weapon, same button. Which can sometimes screw you up. Yep. 
I think, um, I think I, I, I was talking to you about this the other day. One of my biggest issues, again, is there's no lock on yeah. button for the camera, which can sometimes, in certain boss fights, the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, second, the last time you fight Starscream has a terrible, terrible camera. And a, a lock on button would uh, really, really help that. But I think you said that's kind of, Platinum Games normally has those in their games? If I'm recalling correctly, frankly, I got so decent at the ones I play normally that I don't really need the lock on. But those games have. Uh, not to brag, <laughs> Oh, this, has, <laughs> this is the camera, and those is better by default because they're more highly produced in this game. So it's it's not as necessary, but I'm pretty sure it's there anyway. Bruce pretty much just say, "Get good, you will the scrub." Like, okay. Yeah, I played I some of this. I'm really bad at it. I get what you're saying. See, I um, that is the one gameplay problem I have with it is the the camera control because I'm like I don't want to I don't want to control the camera and run that's too much for me that's that's the most critical <laughs> I've ever heard you of a game ever <laughs> usually it's, usually it's something like I'm surprised that it was that and it wasn't the whole like sideswipe has uh uh uh, 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 uh <laughs> sideswipe has prowl's voice and I don't like it <laughs> well what about the gameplay no sideswipe <laughs> Well, it's because I don't actually, what don't fuck? actually care about the gameplay that much. I know that's why I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, side swipe! Now they just like start on and just turns into star scream. I will lead the gameplay now. <laughs> Jonathan, it's so unlike you to, to, to comment on the gameplay. It wasn't me. It was the triple changes. <laughs> That's like my okay. So for people that don't know, so there's an episode. Cool triple uh, track over. Yeah, in in G1, oh, and crazy. it's the only one that I've ever seen. <laughs> and uh, so there's a the the whole plot of the episode is that um, the triple changers, which are uh, Decepticons, that it's Blitzwing, Blitzwing and, uh, and Astro Astro Train. Astro Train. That they're called triple changers because they can transform into three different things. Like uh, do they have? They have two vehicle forms yeah. and a. So, and a, so Blitzwing is a is a uh, tank. tank and a jet, and Astro Train is a train yeah. and like a, a spaceship. Yeah, and, a, yeah, and we will we'll see a Blitzwing later. Yes. On. Yeah. Um, he, he is he's a pretty good boss. I like him. So anyway, so <clears throat> the like as a character, Starscream is usually trying to overthrow Megatron, <laughs> isn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. like that's well, every yeah. episode. So. With the help of the triple changers, they f they form a plan where they're going to essentially freeze Megatron. Yeah. So they can overtake the Decepticons, and uh, so what ends up happening is the triple changers trick Starscream, and they freeze both Starscream <laughs> and Megatron, and then they take over themselves, and then the plot unfolds of the rest of the episode, and then Megatron and Starscream escape, and uh. uh uh, when they finally get out, Megatron is confronting Starscream about what happened, and Starscream goes, It wasn't me, it was the triple changes! They and, me! And Megatron goes, You're either a liar or stupid! And Starscream goes, I'm stupid! I'm stupid! <laughs> it's like the greatest oh. thing ever. God, and you know, it's really sad that there isn't more of a Starscream treachery story in this game. No, that one line was like, Why don't you have the last line? Megatron! But then he doesn't do anything else. Yeah, he's really pathetic in this. Not only his voice, but he just isn't... His character is not in this game very well. Like, he's kind of just tacked on a little bit. Well, he, he had to be there. He's like mm. the, one of the most popular... Um, he's guns. probably the fourth most popular Transformer at this point. Uh, I'd say okay. Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee are, are in front of him. So would you say he's more oh, okay? So you, you place him above Soundwave? Oh yeah, I, I would place I would definitely place Starscream above Soundwave. Yeah, I, I knew Starscream, and I never heard of Soundwave until this game, basically. The Star rest, the rest I knew from pop culture. If it wasn't for the movies, I'd, I'd place I, I I would I wouldn't even have Bumblebee up there. Yeah, the movies kind of made him a much bigger character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
don't know. Jonathan isn't happy with that. I don't like. I don't like it when Bumblebee is popularity. I, I just. I really liked you and Bumblebee because he's just like a nice guy, and it's like not that you know, Bumblebee otherwise isn't isn't a nice guy, but it's like he's just like the goofy young Autobot friend who's like just a weird nice guy that hangs out with you. It's weird how like the movie and then uh, the Prime cartoon kind of made him more of, of like a, a badass. Mar- kind of, yeah. Which, you know, it's not Bumblebee. He's Wasn't like, that whole plot of that he can't talk? Like, I did, I never got that. Uh, that, that, that was uh, a Spielberg suggestion for the movie to make it, I guess, more relatable. It's like, okay. What? <laughs> Not everything Spielberg suggests is gold. We'll just we'll just say. That. I don't know if it's more l- relatable, Are you but sure that you was know Spielberg and not Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Get me his Mexican pun for the equivalent. <laughs> it's, yeah, okay, you just broke me. <laughs> yeah, oh. good. Look, you got some cosmic rust in my brain. I get it. It's Transformers, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so was. <laughs> Chris is crying. He doesn't understand. I just want to punch things and turn into a car. <laughs> what? After all this story, that's what I always wanted to do. You said there, there isn't much of a story to this game? Yeah. There's so well, much war. <sighs> not really not really in the game. This is just Jonathan and I projecting what we know from the other parts of the franchise into this game. That's where the there's, <laughs> there's stuff taken from the ID, IDW continuity later on that mm-hmm. we'll, I'll, I'll talk about later because it, it's kind of... Uh, uh, it, it'll just come up later. Wait. So when Transformers combine, they lose their individual selves and become one? Is that what like this is? It's like a f- fusion, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. What? <laughs> you just said yes. Do, do you not know what a gem fusion is? Oh! No. He just shot you, and that was pretty sweet. Oh, you should do it again. I love, I love fighting Devastator. In the ass. Like it, we, we mm. fight Devastator like uh, a bunch mm. in this, but he's like, I, I love it every time. It is weird how the, the the trailers were all built around him, and he's like, you fight him in the first level. I, I didn't expect that. I'll be honest. I thought they'd save him for later on. Um. I thought he was behind the big wailing arms. That's why I asked earlier to set that up. <laughs> Just because he has big wailing arms? What are you, armist? What? <laughs> yes. Jesus. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm more of a legs guy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you like those Pender's legs with all that uh, definition? The, the Pender's calves. <laughs> pender's calves. <laughs> oh yeah. Shit. Baby, show me those Pender's calves. Hot, hot Pender's <laughs> calves. <laughs> 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 Oh, let's just uh, send pictures of Pender's cabs at Pender's. He'll probably be like, oh, like, oh yeah, baby. Pure art. <gasps> it's drill I love it! Drill hands! Oh, It's Crash Man! Crash Man faces back and forth. Inside, Inside walls reinforced. Gotta, gotta get out of this town. Gotta take Megatron down. Alright, Starscream, calm down. He's gonna pick up some pizza, man. <laughs> Crust only! Crust only! Leave the rest on the ground! <laughs> Decepticons only eat crust! <laughs> From this point forward, I, Starscream, will lead you to the land of crust! What <laughs> the fuck? Stuffed or otherwise! To the pizzeria! <laughs> I wish Chris Lasso was alive so we could find him <laughs> and have him say this shit. He's like... I used to like Starscream. Now I don't. <laughs> you would. I always think Starscream probably is my my favorite of all the um, Transformers. Because but back back in the G one days, none of them really had a lot of personality. You know, like Prime was the leader, Megatron was the leader. There are a few things here and there, like the um. Mo is their leader. Mo is the leader. The the the, the, the um, Transformers were kind of like the Deadly Six. They were, a lot of them were just really one note. Yeah. But um, Starscream <clears throat> was always kind of very memorable as a character. He was always just trying to fuck over men. Well, he had a thing. Just like Jazz's thing was music and Earth culture. And was, that, was that really <clears throat> ever in, in um, the Earth culture? Was that really ever in the cartoon? He was, liked music. That's Earth culture. But then when Blaster came along, that kind of became his thing. So, and then we didn't see Jazz very much. Rank D, huh? 
Gareth barely passing Spriggs. Oh! I was giving you all the D. <clears throat> ah! And you better get it to my man! <laughs> D for Decepticon! Yeah. So, so my man. Megatron has just found the Proud Star, which as Prime, it's, it's kind of, it reminds me of, of an episode of G1, because there's many episodes of G1 where some random Cybertronian Reddick would appear, and they'd be like, oh, I can't believe it, it's the Heart of Cybertron. Yeah, and so it, it, this kind of feels very G1's like storytelling, which is kind yeah. of very, something <laughs> random from their past, which apparently no one knows apart from Optimus Prime. Well, he, and you know, the Proud Star has never been in anything else. Well, I've the never heard tree of it. stars, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Proud Star, I believe that was an 80s uh, cartoon about a, uh, a a sheriff in space. Wasn't that Brave Star? Okay, yeah, it was Brave Star. Can we just talk about how Chris just made a uh, Land Before Time <laughs> reference? And, like, <laughs> like, like pose like he was like, sup, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing ever. Jeez. I had to get comfortable. <laughs> So, uh, if you want to read it that way, you can. <laughs> and I did. Okay. Oh, okay. Golly. So uh, thank you for joining us for part one of Transformers Devastation. We'll try to talk more about the game <laughs> in the next level, but we probably won't. So uh, I've been FDA. I'm a Smirnoff Ice fan. <laughs> Tron John. <laughs> I'm the Iron Man. Jesus, fuck, it fell apart. Gay bye. <laughs>